Where do we go from here? Well, we get to a vote now tomorrow on whether or not to rule out no deal. If that passes, there's likely to be another vote on extending the Brexit process. That's widely seen as being likely to pass. In fact, we had the Attorney General today saying that an extension is now inevitable. Of course, though, we need the EU's permission for that to go ahead. Donald Tusk, the president, has said that he wants to know how long the UK wants to extend for and their reasons for doing so. May pointing out that this doesn't solve any of the problems though of course this is just a short-term fix the overarching issues really remain in place and there is of course a chance that we could end up later down the line at another cliff edge and another potential no deal situation remember of course also that all of these are statements of intention just because MPs rule out a no deal doesn't mean it's not going to happen in fact it's at the moment is the default procedure because if we get to March the 29th and no other decision has been made the UK will leave the EU deal or no deal another group that's been really affected by all of this uncertainty is of course business we've had various statements from uh, business groups the Confederation of British Industry saying enough is enough the British Chambers of Commerce saying that businesses have been failed over and over again so powerful language from these large lobby groups. Uh, a retailers group saying they're exasperated by the squabbling. The automotive industry saying we're now perilously close to a catastrophic scenario. Of course, all of this escalation of uncertainty that's curbed investment, curbed growth. These are not the things that business wants to see. Seb, what about an option of no Brexit at all? We have heard Prime Minister May now talk about a second referendum. Yeah, it was really significant that she mentioned that. She was listing through uh, various outcomes that Parliament could have to face in a couple of months. It's still a more extreme scenario, but it was interesting to see her mention that. Take a listen. And this House will have to answer that question. Does it wish to revoke Article 50? Does it want to hold a second referendum? Yeah. Does it, want, does it want to leave with a deal, but not this deal? These are unenviable choices. But thanks to the decision that the House has made this evening, they are choices that must now be faced. Well, you heard the cheers and the booings there showing just how divisive the idea of a second referendum still is to lawmakers. Of course, it will be a big boost to those who are in the support of it that Theresa May is now mentioning this as an option. The threat of a no Brexit was always something she made to the hardliners to try to get them on board. That didn't work out. It seems that they fear uh, her deal more than the risk of another vote. And they could have good reason to do that because Theresa May says herself that there's no evidence that people have changed their minds. So even if we do go to a second referendum. We could still get the same outcome. We could still get the British people voting for Brexit and that would leave us no closer to resolving this than we currently are.